great to be joined by Larry Lentoniak, longtime coach and now GM of the Clippers. Thanks for taking the time to sit down before the, you head out for the big road trip. Thanks for having me. It's no secret that the Clippers have been active on the trade front lately. First off, could you just give us an overview of the moves we've made in the last couple of weeks and then we can dive a bit deeper into the details and what it means for the Clippers moving forward. Yeah, there's been some significant moves, obviously, and we feel that, you know, um, they're they're tough. There's no doubt about it. There's some tough, tough, um, you know, trades to make. Uh, these players are, are are people, and you know, athletes second, and you got to treat it like that. You got to make sure that you're you're getting in. You know, you're we're helping our we're helping our cause, and we're helping our. Our, um, our organization, our our roster, and we've we've structured that here in the last few few weeks, and we feel that we're you know we are getting younger, and we feel that's important for us to move forward here. That's got to be the toughest part of your job, having to make those tough decisions on fan favorites, guys that have been here for a long time. Do you want to just talk a little bit about the contributions of Dane Hurst, Austin Nault, and of course, hometown kid Kyle Bosch, who's Brought a lot to the Clippers, but also the community of Kimberly. Yeah, no, and, and Caden Benson and, and Johnson, you know, you know, there's those those are those are real good kids, and and you know, there's no, you know, we you make the you make these trades based on on performance and what we need as as a, as a hockey team, and it's a hockey deal, and you know, we we always, you know, there's a lot of emotion that happens. Uh, when you, when you, uh, you know, especially for myself, because of the fact that when you're an assistant coach, you get more attached to the players. There's emotional attachment, and you know, there, you, you build that trust factor amongst them. And uh, so, you know, it's it's not the fun time, that's for sure. I, I, I've always said it is the toughest part of their job, but uh, I know that when I took the interim position, I knew that there were some tough tough decisions and th some tough conversations that were going to have to be made and I told the board that I would be willing to do that and but uh, I think that you know, moving forward here we've got some good pieces in place and uh, it's going to help our, our hockey team moving forward. Turning the page can you give some insight into the new guys namely Hunter Larock and Max Sankner who we've got to watch over the last few games and they seem to be fitting in nicely and also, what you expect to see from guys like Sam Witt and Dan Griffin? You know, when you, you talk about you know those players' names, I mean, and the names you just mentioned, like Austin Nolt and and um, and Kyle Bosch. Well, you know, they're definitely you know those those players were were great players for us, and uh, you know all these deals were, were were difficult to make, but we we've had conversations with with them, their family, about which direction we were going. So they all knew about it. Uh, you know, the tough one was yesterday with Kyle and his mom. And, uh, you know, I, I know I'm not maybe that directly answering that question, but I, I want to make sure that, that, that you know, we, uh, everybody understands that this is, uh, this is a mutual, uh, uh, a mutual agreement. And it's good for him and, and Austin because they put a lot of work in, into, this, into this team. So we feel we're giving them an opportunity to win with Melford. Um, and that was the deal that they could go together and play. They, they were line mates. They, they, they penalty killed together. It's a good combination. And, um, and I know that Melford uh, made the offer. And we talked to uh, Stacy, um, um, uh, Kyle's mom, and him yesterday. And, it was, uh, we both agreed that that was the best thing that could happen. So in that, in, in saying that, the, the young guys that are getting returned, and the, the players that you see, is like Michael Neumeyer's, uh, the, the Hunter LaRocks, uh, the Matt Sagner's, um, those are kids that have come from those deals that we think that can help this organization move forward. So I think we're in a good position now. Our draft, uh, you know, when we're draft, trying, trying to draft players, that's also a big part of who we are and we want to make sure that you know we when we first when I first came on board here we really didn't have uh, draft picks and I think that puts you behind the eight ball so we uh, when, when Clayton uh, arrived here last year that was our goal 
is that we're going to keep all our draft picks and we're going to move any, any draft picks for trade. So we have that. so this year we have all our draft picks. So you're going to see more of those young players come come through our, our program. But uh, Sam Witts here, he's he's a, like a uh, I'd say a, a, a Brendan Borby type uh, a player that that is 18, and uh, we, we had him ID'd earlier play for the Cal Calgary Buffaloes of the AAA league, and he'll. He'll definitely uh, give us some minutes because of the fact that we have a, a, uh, an injury with Stevie Avalon, so we don't know how long he's, he's, he's gone for, so we needed to, to, to show that position up as well. And finally, what we can expect to see going forward, we're 2-1-1 one one in the last four games. We're playing some pretty good hockey as of late. I don't think anyone gets the sense that we're packing it in by any means. I know we probably can't touch upon future trades, but maybe just speak to the direction moving forward. Yeah, we're not packing it. In. There's there's five teams, four teams fighting for that uh, for that seven and eight spot, uh, and we're one of them. And we feel, you know, with with our leadership that we have, with uh, you know, uh, Borbs and uh, and Trapper, like uh, we've added Liam Fraser to the other assistant role, and also Stevie Avalon. Uh, when you lose two guys like Bosch and and, uh, and Nalt. You know, we fill those with pretty good, pretty good hockey players too, and pretty good people, pretty good leaders that that care about about our team. So, moving forward, we're going to give these kids an opportunity to, to play at uh, uh, in some important minutes, some critical minutes for their development, and you can start to see it happening now over the last uh, four or five games. Uh, you know, we're young in the back end. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to have some hiccups, but you know. You know, the most important thing is that the staff, the coaching staff, believes in these in these kids. We're going to give them an opportunity to, to develop and, and to play and to have some success. And, and that's what we want as a as a staff. You know, we're going to do everything we possibly can, and we'll give everything. You know, that's our promise. You know, we give everything. Uh, you know, we're going to give 100% uh, to these players. So to make sure that they're they're in the right they're going in the right direction. And that's how that's that's our. That's how we feel about our, you know, we want to make sure our community understands that too. Coach, thanks for taking the time and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks for having me.